wake up in the morning and drink a cup of coffee to get energy. Then we might commute to work where we complete a project. In the afternoon, perhaps there's a meeting with a wealth manager to plan financial long-term well-being. After work, we might go home and prepare a meal. These are all examples of jobs to be done. Get energy in the morning, commute to work, complete a project, plan long-term financial well-being, and prepare a meal. And what jobs to be done does is it provides us a theory. It's a theory of why people adopt products and services. It's a simple theory that they adopt a product or service to get a job done. When we talk about hiring a product or a service, why do people hire a product? So for instance, we can take this course. Why did you hire this course? It's probably something like to learn a new technique in your field, right? There might be multiple jobs that you can uncover for any one product or service. Let's take uh, a simpler example, coffee. I mentioned that earlier. You can think about coffee as a way to get energy in the morning. But what jobs also allows us to do is to think of other means, other ways that people might get that job done. So coffee doesn't just compete with other types of coffees. It also competes with running around the park or jumping in a lake or maybe even drinking a kale smoothie. Those all help us get energy in the morning. So from the individual's perspective, we can say that different ways of getting energy in the morning might be drinking coffee, drinking a kale smoothie, jumping in a lake, or going jogging. From the individual's perspective in getting their job done, these are all competing ways of accomplishing that job. So jobs to be done is really about a mindset shift. Instead of pro focusing on your own product, service, or brand, instead of focusing on your offering and your solution, you wanna turn the tables and you wanna think about how do individuals think about getting their jobs done and make that your starting point. That's the starting point for innovation. That's the starting point for improving any offering that you might have. And it really goes back to this quote from Theodore Levitt, famous business professor. And he used to like to tell his students, people don't want a quarter inch drill, they want a quarter inch hole. Now, that it's the essence of this example that's important, not necessarily drills and holes, but the kind of the story behind this quote of a means versus an objective. The drill is a means. It's a means to an end, and the end is making a hole. And what he's saying here is that you as a service provider, you have a product or a service that's on the market. That's the drill. Right? That's what you care about. You want to sell more drills. That's fine, but the way to do that is to think about what people need, what they want from that drill. They want a whole. Make that your starting point. Start with the outcome and then work back towards the technology. That's what's encapsulated in this quote here and the essence of jobs to be done. We want to start with the outcome and work back towards the solution. So we talk about the problem space and understanding the problem space, and that's very much what jobs to be done is about. Then we talk about the solution space and thinking about the product or service that addresses that problem. If we think about jobs to be done as understanding the problems that people want to solve, that'll help us devise the solutions that they really need. The thing about jobs to be done that's really um, exciting and fascinating to me is that it's not limited to one function in an organization. It's not owned by a design team or a marketing team in terms of the technique or the method. It actually applies across the whole organization and any team can benefit from jobs to be done. For instance, a sales uh, team can use jobs to be done as a way of doing customer discovery. When talking to their customers, try to understand what they're trying to get done and not just sell them a tool. <clears throat> the marketing teams can use jobs to be done to help craft marketing campaigns that really speak to the market using terms that address their needs. You can uncover those through jobs to be done. Product design and development can use jobs to be done to help guide roadmaps, to help build the products and services that you want to bring to the market. Customer success uh, managers can use jobs to be done to help make their customers more successful. Support teams can use jobs to be done to help better understand inquiries from customers. Even business strategy uh, and, and business development teams can use jobs to be done to help form a company strategy. 
the applications are almost limitless and it applies to the whole organization. So jobs to be done is not a design discipline. It's something uh, that we can use across teams to break down silos. And the way that jobs to be done does that is through language, through a way of talking about outcomes, objectives and outcomes, without talking about technology. So we explicitly, in the language of jobs to be done, we explicitly expunge any technology or solutions from our language. And this is the way that I break things up. I look at, first I look at the objective, which has three components, the who, the job performer, and the what, the main job, that frames our field of reference. But it's not just an objective in terms of checking off a point, going from point A to point B, and we got there. It's actually understanding the process, the process that unfolds. So the job performer, the main job, and the process really define the objective. What is somebody trying to get done? But then we can look at the outcomes that they want from that objective. So the outcomes we can think about as needs. These are the measures of success to how well I got the job done. That all takes place under a, circumset, uh, under a set of circumstances. So the context in the situation, we can think about circumstances like the time, the manner, and the place. That's gonna frame how a job performer gets the job done. This framework we're gonna use in some of the next videos, so it's important to remember. We talk about the who, the what, and the how. The outcomes, this is the why, why people are doing the main job and what they want from it, and then the, the where and the when from the circumstances. So we got more on that in the next uh, videos coming up. Hope you stick around.